It once happened. It happened. <laughs> this happened. Three men who were in their older age who are retired. One was a surgeon, another was a general, another was a politician. They met in the old age home and uh, they had a golf game, it went all bad. So they thought at least they'll have some good gossip. So the surgeon said, of all the professions, the most important profession is that of a surgeon because it is only by cutting the Adam's one rib and making woman out of it that this whole world happened. So what can be more significant than that? Surgeon's profession is the most important profession in the world. So the general said, oh come on, it is clearly said that there was chaos and then order had to be brought in before this rib surgery happened. And who else but a general can bring order? Obviously we were before you and only because we brought order, you could do this surgery. The politician said, you guys are getting it all wrong, but who created the chaos? <laughs> It once happened. It happened. <laughs> what is that? Hmm? Oh, monkeys. See, the teaching is getting popular <laughs> They… they also believe they could be evolved like you. <laughs> hey, how many of you came that way? <laughs> no, no, it's good… it's good for me that we transformed uh, monkeys into human beings. It's a very good, uh, you know. Shankaran Pillai was having a conversation with his wife. And uh, Sankaran Pillai asked, this is a spiritual conversation, asked, what is reincarnation? The wife was bored with this kind of conversation, she was uh, doing some little embroidery. Then she said, reincarnation means you will come back in a completely different way than the way you are right now. Then Sankaran Pillai thought about it and said, does it mean to say, in my next life I can come back as a pig? His wife said, you are not listening to me properly, I said you will come back in a completely different way <laughs> There was one Mrs. Bhatia who was having her fiftieth wedding anniversary. They had a wedding anniversary and the next day she filed for divorce. The judge saw the divorce petition, he was also a good family friend. So he called her and he said, why you want to divorce your husband? It's such a sweet little thing. <laughs> why do you want to divorce him? On what grounds you want to divorce him? She said, he's not been faithful to me, he's been cheating me. How do you come to this conclusion? Just yesterday you had your fiftieth wedding anniversary, you were fine yesterday, how do you conclude this? I got a little nostalgic and started flipping through the photo album. Then I saw none of my five children resemble him. This happened. A newly married man, anybody? <laughs> newly married man one day came home a little early in the afternoon. The young wife, she came out in her sexiest possible nighty, and she said, 
tie me up, do whatever you want. He looked at her, he immediately tied her up, picked up his golf kit and went golfing <laughs> This happened. One day Shankaran Pillai met an old college friend. So he met him and uh, they were there and this guy pulled out his stuff and started rolling. Shankaran Pillai said, why are you doing all this? He said, no, 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 you don't know, you just smoke and you will fly, man. He said, no, 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 I... I don't smoke, I'm fine. But friend, you know friends, So he also did little. Then he was walking home, little flying but still feet on the ground. Then he saw on the street, a man was completely mangled, hit by some car and gone hit and run. He was in a bad condition. He, that man called out and said, please call me an ambulance. Call me an ambulance. Shankaran Pillai looked like this. <laughs> he did. <laughs> that he said, please call me an ambulance, <laughs> if you insist. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Ambulance. This happened, an old couple were watching an evangelical program on the television. The preacher was going full on and uh, he was promising he's going to heal them and all that stuff. So he… over the television he's going to heal them. He said, place your hands wherever you have problem in your body, I will heal right now. So the lady put her hand on her throat and sat because she had a thyroid issue. The man looked at her and then put his hands upon his groin and sat. <laughs> she looked at him and said, John, he only said he will heal the sick, he did not say he will raise the dead <laughs>